All right, so now that we have decided on a keyword from using the Keyword Explorer, the next step would be to actually optimize our video title, our video description, and the tags for that specific keyword so that we have the highest chance of actually ranking for our keyword. And the way we can do that using TubeBuddy is to use the SEO Studio here on the right side, which is kind of going to guide us through the optimization process. So when we open up the SEO studio, the first thing we got to do is type in our keyword in this field right here. So for me, this would be TubeBuddy um, tutorial 2021, click on start. And then the process is going to start. And this is looking similar like the upload process of when you upload a new YouTube video on your YouTube channel. So, uh, but the difference is that you can actually see an SEO score right here, which will show you how well your uh, video title description and so on is optimized for your keyword, TubeBuddy Tutorial 2021. So currently we are at a 62% score and we want to get that score as high as possible, optimally to 100%. So the way we do that is by looking at the bottom here where we see suggestions of TubeBuddy telling us what we need to do so that we get a higher score. And one of those right now is include your target keyword naturally in the title. So what I can do is maybe type in something like how to use, to use TubeBuddy. And then I have TubeBuddy once again in my title and that will actually increase my SEO score. And because everything is a little bit slow here on my computer, it's kind of delayed. So as you can see now, it, it has increased my score to 86%. Now the next thing I need to do is include partial matches of your target keyword in my description. So the same thing here, I can just type in, in this TubeBuddy tutorial 2021, I will show you how to use Tube buddy and then I have tube buddy once again here in my video description and that should also increase my SEO score. So you want to include your keywords naturally in your description and optimally within the first 200 characters um, of your description right here. So make sure you make all of these suggestions here green and then you should get to at least 95% of your SEO score. Then on the next step, we actually can type in or we can actually um, put in our tags, our tags for our YouTube video. I actually like to skip this step right here because the tag um, tool that we have in the upload process, which I'm going to show you later on in the video, is a lot better in my opinion than this tag tool right here. So what I do, I skip this step and I do the tags later on in the upload process. Then I'm going to click next again and then we get to the thumbnail section, which is also one of the most important parts of, um, of what's going to be deciding on how well your YouTube video will do because the CTR, the click-through rate, is one of the most important metrics when it comes to uh, the algorithm deciding on uh, if they want to push your video or not show your video at all. So our thumbnail is very important. So here what we can do is upload our thumbnail that we plan on using for this video. So for example, I plan on using something like this right here. And then it will put in your thumbnail uh, among the other search results that are currently ranked number one for um, this specific keyword. So what you can try to do here is to create a thumbnail that is kind of standing out right here. As you can see, this might not be the best thumbnail because uh, the colors are pretty much the same and... Um, it's not really standing out. However, you can also see that the color red is kind of working because these these uh, videos are actually ranked on the, uh, ranked in the first part of the search results. So what I like to do is simply use a thumbnail and then later on I split test it against other thumbnails, which I'm also going to show you later on in the tutorial. But I also upload the thumbnail right here to kind of see how it looks like uh, in between those other thumbnails that come up in the search results. Cool, so then I go to the next step and then I can basically save all this information as a draft and then use it later on when I actually upload this video. Now we only got to 95% of uh, the SEO score right now, which is because we have skipped the tags right here, which we're going to do later on when we actually upload our video. So, we're gonna, so I'm going to click on save draft right here. And now I have saved this one as a draft 2 party tutorial 2021. 
All right, so let's now actually go through uploading and publishing a new YouTube video with the help of TubeBuddy. So as you probably know, to upload a new video, we simply go to the top right, click on the camera icon, click on upload video. And then as an example, I'm gonna simply upload a short video for this tutorial. And then you'll get to the process that you're probably familiar with, where you have to type in your title, your description, upload your thumbnail, and all that kind of stuff. However, as we've already prepared our title, our description that is optimized for our keyword, we can now simply click on this TubeBuddy button right here, and then we can choose uh, the draft that we have prepared for this video, TubeBuddy Tutorial 2021, click on apply right here, and then it will simply insert the title that we have prepared, the description, and also upload the thumbnail. So as we can see, it's just inserting it right here. Obviously, you wanna have a better title and description that I have in this video, but this is simply uh, for demonstration purposes. 